<laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Landon and welcome to LMJ Entertainment's very first video. Very pleased to meet you all. Now, a lot of foreigners who visit or live in Korea have trouble finding their way to their destination that they want to travel to. Google Map or Apple Maps don't work well here in Korea. So in this video and next, we'll be introducing a couple of Korean map apps that will make your traveling inside Korea somewhat easier. These maps that we'll be introducing both provide the English version. Thus, these maps will enable you to navigate your way much easier than before. The two maps that we want to cover are Neighbor Map and Kakao Map. These two provide similar yet different services. In this video, we'll be going over the functions and features of Neighbor Map. We'll be going over Kakao Map in our next video. So let's get started. First, to download the Neighbor Map, open whichever app store that you use, whether it be Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Then type in Neighbor Map in the search bar and you will all set. When you're done installing the app, open the app and this is the first thing you will see. It gives you a brief introduction of how to use the app and what kind of features it offers. In this stage, you can set whether you want to keep your GPS on at all times or only when you're using the app or turn it off at all times. Don't worry, you can always change the GPS setting anytime from your device settings. The nearby tab is where you can see the actual map. There are numerous things that you can do on this tab, but the most important feature here is to find your way to wherever you might want to go. First, type in your destination. Here, I will set my destination as Hapcheong Station. As I type in, you can see here all the similar or nearby destination results. One thing about this app is that although it provides an English version, some of the search results still show up in Korean. In this case, tap on one of the results and see where the map redirects to. I tapped on the first result, Hapjongyeok Yosan. I chose Hapjong Station Line 2 as my destination. When I choose the location, this is what it will look like on the screen. It gives me a brief information on the location with the options to choose between setting the location as departure point or arrival point. Let me tap on the button arrival. This is the search result when you search for transportation means. Beneath the locations are four tabs. The first tab with the train icon shows your options of how to get there and how long it will take using each transportation means. The preference option allows you to choose the transportation means of your choice. You can choose to travel only by bus or subway or both. Fast route option allows for you to choose a route that is most efficient for you. You can either choose the fastest route last walking route or last transfer route. The next tab with the car icon shows you the route of how to get to your destination if you're going to drive for yourself or take a taxi. It even shows you an estimated amount of tax fare as well. The next tab with the little man icon shows you how to get there and how long it takes by foot. The next tab with the man on a bike icon well, you should know by now, so I will say no more. Also, please keep in mind that when the destination is less than 7 minutes walk or 700 meters away, it will not show you any public transportation route. When you tap on the route of your choice from the public transportation tab, it will show you more detailed information of how you can get to the destination and how long it will take. It shows you the estimated amount of bus and or subway fare, the approximate time of how long it will take, the estimated time of arrival, how to get to the bus stop or subway station for departure and more. If you see inside the red circle, 
It shows you how much time is left until your transportation main arrives to your departure point. This screen shows you how to turn the street view. Tap on the what would normally be GPS icon and you'll be able to turn the street view. When you first turn it on, you can choose to use arrow line movement setting to show you the direction of where you should be going towards. The white band arrow shows you the front point, which is your starting point. The blue line next to it shows you the direction of where you should be heading to. Put your finger on the screen to turn and see the street view of where you're supposed to be working towards. In my case, I should be turning my view to the left, meaning I should pull the screen to the right side. The blue line and the arrow heads inside, it will be showing you where you should walk towards. If you double tap the screen, then the screen will move on forward to the direction that you tapped on. All you have to do is to follow the blue line and the arrow has in it. Mind you, sometimes the street view can be outdated and thus the view might not be the same as it was when the view was photographed. Check the date when the view was taken on the top left corner beneath the location name. When you're lost and want to see where you are or how to walk to your destination, Zoom in on the map and tap on the current location icon shown inside the red circle. Tap once and it will show you your current location. Tap once more and it will show you where you are as you are on the move. Keep in mind that in order to use this feature, your GPS must be turned on. A little tip of mine that I use. On the map, if you tap on that icon, on, in the red circle on the top right corner. You will see a few options for what to see on your map. You can use the satellite version or terrain version beside the default version. Below the are options of what you would like to include your map. I turn on CCTV option which is like turning on civilian camera on the road. It doesn't really serve as a civilian camera but it shows you the current road situation. I actually use this to see if I need to take an umbrella with me that day. Next, I will show you how to see the bus route. Tap on the bus number marked with the red circle on the screen. This will enable you to see all the bus stops that this bus stops at. The bus stop that you should be boarding on is shown in a slightly darkened box, like in the red circle. Scroll up and down the screen to see how many buses are currently running and where each bus is at. What you can also do here is to add this stop to your favorites if you travel from this location often. Just tap on the small star icon on the right side of the bus stop that you wish to add. You can check your favorites from the main menu of the nearby tab. Just tap on the menu icon on the search bar and tap on favorites. When you go inside the favorites, you will see the transport means that arrive near your favorite location. Oh, did I mention that if you tap on your bus info, it also shows how crowded the bus is? Some buses only show how crowded the bus is, but some buses show you how many seats are left on that bus. We are done going over how to find your way to your destination. Another feature that Nearby Tab offers is introducing nearby places that you might be interested in, mainly places to eat. This shows you some of the restaurants or cafes nearby based on your location or where the map is centered at the moment along with price information and some of the reviews that other people have posted. It also shows you how far the place is from your current location and what time they open and close. I'm not sure if any of you will be using this feature in this tab so often, but my tab also allows you to take a picture of the receipt of a place that you visited to leave your remarks on the place. Your visit log will be saved here. Now, moving on to the transit tab. 
When you first open this tab, this pop-up will show by swiping up bar below to ask if you want to open this tab as a default. It's actually this tab that you will use to find your way, but you can use the same function from the nearby tab so you can use whichever feel more comfortable with. In this tab, you will see a bunch of little boxes of locations. This is basically a shortcut menu. It shows you the locations that you have used as departure point or destination point. Also shown below in the bottom right corner is the subway button. Tap on this and you will be able to see the up-to-date subway map. We can also see subway maps that other than that of Seoul and Gyeonggi-do. This navigation tab is for those that drive. In the same way, just like before, you can start neighbor map in navigation mode if you feel more comfortable with it. You probably all know how a navigator works, so I won't explain too much on this. Just type in your destination and you will be able to see the best route, how long it takes, and in case you are traveling out of city, toll fees and such. If you have any specific request of what you'd like to know more about life in Korea, please leave a comment below and we will take it into consideration for our future videos. Thank you.